And so joining us tonight to take a deeper dive into what you may be feeling as we move back towards normalcy is Dr. Dwight Norman Jr., who's a clinical psychologist right here in Bakersfield. And thank you, doctor, so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. So first, I want to ask you, after wearing masks for more than a year, what are some of the reasons that people may feel anxious about having to take their masks off now? Yeah, I think the idea of the climate around them is uh, extremely uh, depressing at this point in time. I mean, with things opening up and having to step outside your bubble, your comfort zone, it's very difficult to, to do that at times. Um, so with the reopening and taking off your mask, it could be very difficult to do. Um, one of the other things is being able to identify facial cues, um, body language. It changes quite a bit when you have a mask on. So a lot of individuals are, they get anxious when they're not able to um, evaluate their environment that makes them feel most comfortable. And what are some ways for people to cut down if they are having anxiety about this? Um, there are several ways. I think the most important thing is to have a, a good overall sense of well-being. Uh, so healthy eating, um, sleeping well, um, exercising, feeling refreshed to really get a good understanding of what your body is feeling, and what you're going through. Additionally, um, addressing thought process issues, uh, irrational thinking, automatic thoughts, um, checking these irrational and automatic thoughts at the door um, by evaluating them and um, getting a good sense of um, acceptance and uh, uh, validation in the, the way that you're thinking about things. Typically, you have a negative thought process. You're most likely going to have a negative emotion and feeling, then that turns into a very negative behavior. If you have a positive thought process about what's going on in your life or what's happening, as far as uh, you being outside and being exposed or wearing a mask or not wearing a mask, you're going to have more of a um, positive way of, of thinking about things, which is going to have a, a more positive behavior that's associated with it. So just having a positive outlook and just stopping those irrational thoughts and just saying everything's OK. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be a good start. And is that good to do with friends and family who are also nervous about taking their mask off as well? Absolutely. Additional additional to that would be assertive communication. So respecting yourself as well as the individuals that are around you with family and friends, having open communication about what your concerns are. Um, uh, what you're able to tolerate and what you're not able to tolerate and truly be honest with the individuals that are around you about um, uh, where your comfortable level is as far as wearing a mask and um, uh, social distancing and things like that. All right. Thank you so much, doctor. We appreciate your input and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Absolutely. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me.